Uh, hi, uh, in this video I'll cover some uh, basic reports in mixed panel, how to create them, where to save them, and some uh, uh, key actions and uh, information. So let's get started. So let's, um, at first, let's look at the left side of, uh, of the board. This is the place where um, we save our uh, boards under your boards. Uh, the boards that you're uh, creating are being saved uh, automatically. Uh, if you can uh, pin a board to the uh, project by clicking the uh, menu here, um, and there are like uh, pin board, yes, this is a pin for a project. You can also add uh, a board for the favorite. It's here. Uh, basically, clicking here and click here, more convenient. Uh, you have all the actions that you can uh, make on a on a board. You can delete it, rename, add to favorite, copy the URL, duplicate, move to. But the more important thing is to the manage sharing. If you click here, you can manage uh, um, uh, how to share and uh, with what permissions to share uh, to the. Uh, users in your project you can set a certain uh, person in your project and set it as viewer or an editor or you can set uh, uh, give access to everyone in the project as an editor or of viewer and or uh, of your end editor uh, so this is very important when you are um, creating a board and you want to uh, share it uh, with people or you just want to give access to the people uh, in your project or out of your project when you go and move it to a different uh, institution. Uh, and in our example, you can move it to the community world that uh, you can uh, join. Now, um, let's start uh, to look at uh, the boards. Um, you can either start by creating a board and then adding a reports to it or create a report and then save it uh, to a board creating a board you can click on the new board you can add here a blank board or you can use a template that mix panels offers you it's very useful for learning how mix panel works uh, uh, um, how to uh, the questions that you want to um, to raise? Uh, it's really helpful in 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 in, in uh, 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 learning uh, the basic of uh, mixed panels. I urge and I suggest uh, to, uh, to 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 choose one of the boards and go over it. Now, uh, so adding a blank board, clicking here, and then you can uh, choose the report or you can choose the report from here and then after we uh, build it we can save it to a board so basically the board is the container of the reports now let's start with the insights which is the basic uh, board that mixed panels offers us uh, basically it's a versatile tool for visualizing user behavior and tracking key metrics you can analyze events, cohorts, um, uh, use and user and user profiles using various uh, chart types. So let me just close this. Um, at the left side, this is the area that we uh, uh, create uh, the query. You can select the event. This is the list of uh, uh, the the event that. Uh, have been uh, injected into uh, our project. Let's, for example, search uh, the search. We can uh, filter or break it down with the properties. Remember, we have the unique properties of the search uh, event, and we have general properties that are uh, being injected with each and any uh, of the um, uh, event. So, in order to filter search, you can use this inline search for the unique properties, or, oh, sorry, Once again, let's do it again. Right. 
So you can use the inline filter in order to filter the unique properties of the search event. And if you want to filter it with a general property, um, it will be more convenient to filter it from here because if you're adding another event, let's say they create physical event and now you have two events. So this filter must be general because it will filter the search and the create. And the inline filter will, um, will, uh, will, will, will filter only the, uh, the, the, the specific event. So if I want to filter now search, let's take a type. And let's search type and let's pick basic. And if I want to create physical request, I will go here type. So let's go uh, for uh, request type and let's go for holding request. So here I filtered with the inline filter, and then I will filter a global with a global uh, property. So let's take uh, operating system. And I don't know, Mac. Okay. I can use the properties uh also for uh, breaking down and give me a more uh, uh precise uh, image of how uh, uh the, the, the spread of the uh, um, of the certain uh, property that i chose so let's go for um platform okay so if I'm looking at the visualization, I can see that I have a breakdown of the platform, desktop, mobile, desktop, mobile. I have uh, event A and event B, uh, which is uh, being filtered by holding a request, is holding request and is a basic. I can change the visualization here. Maybe a table will be more convenient. Yeah, looks like I can change it to uh, bars. I can uh, here uh, change the time frame that uh, I, I want to choose. If not 30 days, I can check uh, seven days. I can click here to add uh, uh, to, to compare to a different uh, time period. So let's if I'm seven days. So let's go on previous week. And I have the comparison uh, next to the actual uh, result. So. At this moment, if I'm happy from, uh, I, I, I'm happy with the uh, report that uh, I've just made. In the title, let's, let's just go for demo, demo two, and I can save it. I can save it to an existing uh, report, or I can save it to a new board. I save it to a, my demo board. Great, and that's it. Here, if I will just refresh it, and then we go to my demo board. So it is right here, demo two, with the other uh, um, uh, report that I've already saved. Before moving on uh, with the uh, more uh, reports. I would like to review the mixed panel events and properties document. It's very important. It's highly important uh, uh, to go over it because this is basically uh, will give you the power to know what to ask. Your analysis will be more accurate. Um, we have the general technical property that we send with every and each uh, uh, event like the browser, browser ver version, uh, country, referring domain, referring, referrer, operating system, etc. We have also the general primo property that we also we send with every and each event. 
for example, uh, the user type, user group, primo view, institution code, etc. We have the device uh, ID, which is the ID of the uh, anonymous user, and the distinct ID, which is the hashed ID of the uh, signed in uh, user. Now, we have the events and unique properties, which is very important to know because then you will know what to search for, what to ask. Your analysis will be much more precise. Let me show you an example. If I am looking at the following, uh, the facet usage, okay? So we have the facet usage event, which is a very large event. But if you want to focus only on adding a facet usage, so you will have to filter it with the property of facet action type and uh, choose add and not remove and reset all, which are, which are uh, um, more uh, actions that a, a user can uh, perform on a facet. So this will give you uh, the power to uh, have a more accurate analysis of what you're searching. So go over the events, go over the properties, and you will know exactly what to search for and what to ask, and then Mixpanel will give you uh, the answer accordingly. Okay, so after reviewing uh, the uh, events and the properties, now let's uh, see and uh, I will show you how to check if uh, the system works, if what your, uh, the actions that you are making in Primo are being fired uh, uh, to a uh, mix panel. For example, let's uh, search for uh, pink cats. Let's click on F12. And you can see this is uh, uh, in the filter I uh, added uh, analytics. Let's invoke the search. And this is I'm clicking here. This is like the old beacons. Let's go like this. And you see, I've just fired an event in the name of uh, a search event. And this is the all the properties, the unique and the general properties that uh, uh, have been, have been uh, fired with uh, with the events. Now, going back to mix panel, uh, let's go to the events tab where all the events are being aggregated. And you see, I have in a search less than a minute ago. I'm here on uh, today on the time frame. I will click here. I will click mix your properties to see uh, the, the the properties of 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 Primo, the general and the unique properties. And you see, this is the search type, basic. Search time, this is the pink cat just, I have just uh, uh, invoked in Primo. So I can see the events instantly. I can check, I can make it that, that double check of, e of, of each event. And this is a very uh, uh, friendly and easy way uh, to see if uh, the system uh, uh, if, the, if the system works, uh, also if you want to focus on mixed panel properties, this is the general technical properties, as I mentioned uh, before, the browser, browser version, country, etc. Uh, so use this; it's very useful. Okay, so let's continue with uh, some uh, more reports. Um, let's go and pick the funnels. The funnels is all about conversion. You pick uh, 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 two events and you can measure the conversion between uh, the two or the three or the four uh, as much as you like. Let's start. Let's pick the search. You see, I can filter it uh, uh, from here as I uh, showed you in the uh, insight uh, report. This is the inline filter. If I want to only focus on the Sorry, on the basic search, I will go type and uh, well, the search type. Search type is here and I can pick the basic search. Now, step number two, let's pick a value moment. What is the value moment for me? 
I would say that the value brand for me is clicking on an online resource link. Okay, any, uh, I, I'm guessing that every uh, every single person will have a, a, a different uh, value moment, so it can vary, and uh, it's really uh, different from uh, institution to institution, depend on what you find it as a value. Um, so let's see the conversion. Uh, the conversion is about 42 uh, percent now if i want i can add more steps into this uh, process but before let's look at the conversion uh, criteria this is uh, uh the conversion within seven days which is not really relevant for our product so i will go for one and i would click here and i can have seconds minute hours i will choose one session okay so let's go apply Right, so we are on, as we can see, we are on 39, let's say 40% conversion from search to online resourcing. Now, let's add, I don't know, let's add if the facet usage change anything, but I want to see if, if someone is adding a use, a, a, a facet. So I will add a filter here, facet action type by selecting add. And here, and I will move it for here to have a search, facet usage, adding facet usage, and online resource link, and everything drops. So, but if you can see the, 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 the if I'm looking at percentages, the conversion is from facet usage to online resource link is about 30%. Uh, now, if I want to ask myself why my users are not using uh, the facet as i expect them to do i can click here left click i can see who the users are and i can see it as a flow as a flow as i i mean as a flow like this uh, report like you can see it here also so but this is will be uh, dedicated to this exact uh, uh, flow you can see i view as a flow step one to two from search to facet usage, let's click here, and I'm seeing the flow. Right, so if I will look here, I can see the users who converted and uh, did not convert, and the users who converted. So let's focus on users who did not convert to see what they did after the search. So this is the facet usage, as we know. Some of them uh, ended the session. Some of them display immediately full record after the search and some made other events. Now, what are those events? They are hiding here. How can I reveal it? Clicking on the right click, add a row of events and let's see what are, okay. Some people, yeah, clicked on online resource link and there are more events here so let's click here again and add more events let's see more action that user did so they made a second search and i can continue and continue and continue um, uh, of uh, uh, revealing uh, more events by clicking on the left click and add a row of, of uh, events now if i want to uh, add properties to the um, uh, to this type I can click on the left click and expand by property and I will tell I will choose again type 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 for example and search type and the search type you see I expanded uh, events by property and is telling me okay 98% are basic so now i'm focusing on the basic search and uh, uh, with this uh, functionality you can uh, move on and break uh, uh, every and each uh, uh, event into their uh, properties you can select uh, if you want to add more steps to the to the to the to the first uh, event you see you can you have here three steps after you can add more steps or you can stay add steps before 
let's see let's add one step before and see what the users did one step before okay before the uh, the session uh, uh, started so basically the search event is mainly my my, my first action uh, we have like very low percentage of display for records signing in on address of links etc also uh, we can click the on the user flow here and we can uh, change the user flow we are changing basically the visualization uh, go to top path and uh, uh, mix panels uh, summarized uh, the top path of the users which is a very uh, friendly way uh, to see it very much like in the funnels report and also you can change here and see it as a funnel but this is a very friendly way uh, to see uh, uh, this uh, report 